In this example problem, we'll calculate an ion concentration when adding together two aqueous solutions. Our problem reads, 150 milliliters of 0.5 molar sodium phosphate is added to 350 milliliters of 0.75 molar sodium sulfate. Calculate the molarity of sodium ions in the final solution. Let's look at our equation for the molarity of sodium ions. Molarity equals moles of solute, which is Na+, divided by liters of solution. The first thing we'll want to do is find the total moles of sodium ions. We can use dimensional analysis to convert between the volume of sodium phosphate solution and the moles of sodium ions. Starting with milliliters of solution, we'll convert to liters of solution, and then from liters of solution, we can use molarity to convert to moles of sodium phosphate. And then using the formula unit, we can convert from moles of sodium phosphate into moles of sodium ions. When we multiply and divide these numbers out, we'll get 0.225 moles of sodium ions. These are the moles of sodium ions from just the sodium phosphate solution. Next, we'll calculate the moles of sodium ions from the sodium sulfate solution. We'll do a similar dimensional analysis, starting with 350 milliliters of sodium sulfate solution and converting into moles of sodium ions. And when we multiply these numbers out, we'll get 0.525 moles of sodium ions. Now we can find the total moles of sodium ions by adding together the sodium ions from both solutions and the total liters of solution by adding together the two volumes of solutions. In this calculation, we've already converted our milliliters into liters using dimensional analysis, which is shown below. Performing this calculation, we should get 1.5 molar sodium ions.